And finally, the French National Assembly says no to women who want to cover their faces in public. This, as you may have heard, has been an ongoing and very emotional debate about French identity. And now the assembly, by an overwhelming majority, has banned the wearing of the burqa, face covering veils, in public. President Nicolas Sarkozy said that the burqa was not welcome in France. And Muslim groups worried that such a ban would stigmatize their religion. Our Christina Ruffini reports. Take a look. On the runways of Paris, when it comes to haute couture, anything goes. But on the streets, it's the conservative clothing worn by some Muslim women that has come under scrutiny. The French National Assembly has voted to ban, quote, garments designed to cover the face, imposing fines on women who wear burqas or niqabs, face covering full-length veils, in public. France is home to the largest immigrant population in Europe, about 5 million and counting. But it's estimated that only about 2,000 women wear these garments. Headscars of all kinds have become much more common across the continent as it grapples with an influx of religiously inclined immigrants from North Africa and the Middle East. On the traditionally trendy streets of France, however, conservative Muslim dress is still not fashionable with the majority of the native population. There is a deep contradiction with, between the fact to wear the burqa with the values of the Republic. France has already outlawed headscarves and other outwardly religious symbols, including Christian crosses and Jewish yarmulkes, from its public schools. It now becomes the second nation in Europe, along with Belgium, to institute such a ban. The burqa. It involves the dignity of women. We want women to be protected against those who obligate them to wear this piece of clothing that has nothing to do with religion. But Muslim women like Zendra Dreider say that their dignity is their own and it's none of the government's business. My niqab is my niqab, she says. I will keep it. The government can accept my decision or not. If approved by France's constitutional authority, offenders would be fined up to 150 euros or forced to take a citizenship class, where they would learn about the French constitution and its founding principles of liberty, fraternity, equality, and perhaps most importantly, secularism. Christina Ruffini, CBS News, Washington. And thank you, Christine, and thank you for watching Washington Unplugged. Join us again tomorrow right here on CBSNews.com. I'm Bill Plant. Have a great day.